Welcome back guys. Today I'm going to be showing you several tips on making your settlement building a little bit better and a lot more detailed. So what I'm showing here is pretty much a very standard build on what I see on a lot of videos and I'm going to try to show you how to improve it to make it look more like this. Overall it looks more Fallout themed compared to this. So it comes down to attention to detail even when it comes to interior. When I see a lot of videos and showcasings of pictures of settlements, I see something as basic as this, and they say it's some type of room, and it just looks a little off and a little boring. Maybe this is an exaggeration, but I want to show you guys some tips on how to make it better. So, first off, as you can see, the entire walling itself is the same exact wall. We're going to want to break that up. Give different types of walling textures to make it look like a settler or some random person from the wasteland was trying to rebuild the house out of just little pieces of wood or any type of material that they could find throughout the wasteland. So as you can see here, the overall exterior of the house improved exponentially just by changing the look of each wall piece to make it look more like a rundown shack or a Fallout themed building. Next we're going to work on the detailing of the outside of the house. While the walls look good themselves, their overall base and the foundation of the house just sticks out and looks a little too plain. You want to add a lot of features and clutter around the outside of the house to make it look more like a Fallout themed structure. Adding these little items and decor to the outside of your house will give it more of a lifelike feel as if they tried to make something based upon just the resources they had at hand. It'll add a lot more detailing to it as well as just giving it an overall better look. The best part about this is that you can really use any type of items you want. As in the Fallout universe, any type of item is laying around anywhere in the world. So any little detailing that you put, any type of clutter that you set down, is pretty much justified no matter where you set it. Which this gives you a lot of options on to how you want to decorate and how you want to set up your themed shack, house, or structure that you're building. The next tip I'm going to give you guys is using alternative type steps. Here you can see the little ladder or staircase that's going into the front doorway. You can always make an alternative such as these cinder blocks or stacking boxes on top of each other. It'll give it more of a lively feel and a better Fallout themed look to it. Next tip we're going to be working on the roofing and the flooring. Overall it's the same generic tip that I gave you dealing with the walls. Try to separate the textures and use different types of roofing. Just like the walls, don't be afraid to use any type of wood, metal, or any type of structure or material as long as it fits with the theme that you're going for. Things I see are people are using institute walls with wooden roofs. Try to stick to one single theme so it doesn't look out of place. The next tip I'm going to work on with you guys is lighting. As you can see inside here, we have the one standalone little bulb, which kind of emits a lot of light, which is nice, don't get me wrong. However, if you want to have a more ambient lighting and give it more of a fallout feel, try some other dim lit lights like candles or non-bright lights. Compared to the extremely bright lights, it'll emit different types of shadows. When placing lights on the wall, be sure not to place it on open cracks just like here to where it doesn't belong and it would look like the light is floating. 
try to have it on a piece of wood or any type of material to where it actually looks like it could belong. Now this may not exactly be a building tip, however I recommend getting the Place Anywhere mod. I don't believe PlayStation has it, so I apologize in advance, however, for Xbox and PC, it'll allow you to place an item in any area you want to, even if it's located in the red zone, just like that. So, it'll give you a lot more options to place anything anywhere you want, hence the title, Place Anywhere. As I stated before, when it comes to lighting, even on the interior, try to use low-lit lights such as candles or dim lights. This will give a cool looking feature and cast shadows depending on the certain area of where they are placed. Be aware that when it comes to placing candles and floor lights, you can stack items such as crates and containers and put the lights on top of them. I personally believe when it comes to certain lighting options, it can either make or break your entire settlement alone. Using the correct lighting for a building will give the structure either a survivalist type look or an I place down a bunch of lights so I can see everything in the room look. You usually want to make things look as realistic as possible as if it was already in the game so when you light up everything it doesn't look natural such as these candle lightings. No you don't have to just use candle lightings you can use other types of lights inside the house however Try to make it so that way it casts shadows, gives it different ambient lighting, but will overall improve the generic look of your house, structure, or settlement into something that looks more Fallout themed. Next tip we're going to be working on is furniture and decorations. When it comes to building, as I stated in the very beginning, you're going to want to pick a theme, whether it's futuristic or if it's a rundown shack, fallout looking themed type structure. When it comes to these fallout looking themed type structures, try to stay away from these brand new looking couches and furniture because it just doesn't match the overall theme that you're going for. Now you can get away with certain things such as that bed I had placed, maybe you found clean blankets somewhere. There's always a justification as to how and why something is in a certain location. However, when you're trying to match everything together to make it look proper, try to stick with the rundown items and or furniture. It'll look a lot better compared to that bright red couch that just stands out compared to these broken down shack walls. Now when it comes to decorations, there's no such thing as over decorating. Place as many items down as you want and clutter up a single area as much as you want. Just be aware that it could cause your game to crash if you way overdo it, but you have to go way overboard for that to happen. When it comes to decorating, the more items in a single area, the better. Anywhere you go in the Commonwealth, no matter if it's the forged, or if it's downtown Boston, every area is always cluttered with a mess of items. So just like your structures and settlements, feel free to clutter it up as much as you want to make it look more Fallout themed. Unless you're trying to go for an extremely clean, neat house, I recommend just going all out and placing as many decorations as you want, even when it comes to floor coverings, down to wall decorations, even to just little knickknacks laying around the area. One major thing you want to do when it comes to placing down decorations is try to avoid situations like this to where I see people placing these pictures and or any type of decoration inside of walls like so. You can already see as to why that's just not a good habit to do. Just like the lighting, try to place it on a perfect area to where it looks like it actually belongs there and it's not just floating in a gap or having wood stick through it.
another great idea when it comes to decorating is to always try to place down trees and or plants in or around the structure that you're building. It adds a lot more lively feel as if the structure was built around these little stumps and or plants that are located around it. A major thing that I always see people leave out of the settlements are bathrooms. Try to always sneak at least at one toilet into your settlement or structure. Regardless of where you place it, it doesn't really matter considering it's fallout and items can be placed really anywhere. So just sneak a toilet and a sink in at least somewhere to make it look like it's believably lived in. The next tip I'm going to give you guys is the thinking outside the box tip. I call it this because we're going to be using items and structures such as this wire fence for a purpose that is not intended to be. As you can see here, I'm placing down the wire fence in the open windowed structure. This is to make it look like it's closed off, not allowing anything inside. So the main basis of this tip is to use items in a non-intended way of what they're supposed to be, giving it a much cooler look when it's finalized. The major key to this tip is to getting the place anywhere mod and or using the rug glitch or the pillar glitch to place the items anywhere you want. As you can see here, with just these fundamental tips, you can improve your overall building and the structures and the interior design exponentially. That's all the tips I have for you guys for now. I may make a more advanced guide in the future, so stay tuned for that. Be sure to check any of my settlement builds out and or any other gaming content that I put out. My name is Muffley, and I hope to see you Wastelanders out in the Commonwealth. Mm -hmm.